Welcome back. Our guest this morning, glad to have Emily Tay here, a board member with the Rochester Women's Council. They have the 23rd Young Women of Distinction Awards coming up May 2nd, giving away scholarships to stand out high school seniors, other kids who have an impact on their community and their school. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you having me. Now, I know we're talking is coming up towards the end of this school year, but you're on a deadline now trying to get some nominations. So first off, what is this award celebration about? Yes, so the Young Women of Distinction Awards are all about the young women, the next generation of female leaders in the Rochester area. Um, like you said, it's our 23rd year putting this on, so we're very excited to host it at the OFC Creations Theater in Brighton this year. Oh, nice. Um, but we, we create scholarships for the standout women in the Rochester community. So each year we award four young women in the Rochester region a $2,500 scholarship to put towards their further studies. One from the east side, one from the west side, one from city schools, and one from the regional area as well. What types of stories do they have? How does a, how does a student end up in the nomination process? Yes, so the students can actually submit an application through our website at rockwomenscouncil.org and they simply create a submission with an essay of why they feel they're a young woman of distinction. Typically it's a, you know, a, a narrative of how they stand out in their academics, in their athletics, as well as their community involvement. The stories we get are just amazing. Everything from people starting an entire non for profit in their community to overcoming hardship in their yeah. personal lives. Um, so just hearing the various stories that these young women have is very inspiring and incredible. Sharing some good news of, of positivity and people helping out donations. It's not just right now they can contribute year round. Correct, yes. Yeah. So in addition to submissions, we are relying heavily on the community for donations. One thing that's really neat for me each year to see is how the community really bands together this future generation of young ladies. Yeah. Um, we have options to fund a full scholarship, the full $2,500, all the way down to like a dollar or two dollars. Every little bit helps. Mm. Um, but especially this month in March, being Women's History Month, yes. we typically see a huge push from the local community helping out this next generation of ladies and uh, we really could use your support and everyone in the community. Uh, please uh, feel free to bust out your pocketbooks and help us out because it's very much appreciated and it all goes to these girls. Any excess funds, we typically uh, also create scholarships of a lesser amount for oh, other remaining finalists. That is awesome. Glad to have Emily Tay here, a board member with the Rochester Women's Council as they get ready for the 23rd edition, 23rd year of the Young Women of Distinction Awards coming up May 2nd, taking applications to get those in by the 12th of this month and also looking for fundraising efforts, people to chip in and help pay for these scholarships. We're going to have more information and links for support posted at rochesterfirst.com.